In this video I'll explain how to add bold and italic text to a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, you can see that our data has five rows and two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. If you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 6 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines 8 and 9. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot with five data points at the bottom right. Now, if we want to add bold text to this plot, then we can use the annotate function, as you can see in lines 12 to 15 of the code. So in these lines of code, I am first using the plot object that we have created before as basement. And then I'm adding to this the annotate function. And within the annotate function, I'm specifying that I want to add text. Then I'm specifying the location of this text on the x and y axis. And then I'm also specifying the size argument to be equal to 5 to show our text a little bit larger. Then I'm specifying the text that I want to show. So in this case, I'm specifying the label argument to be equal to my bold text. And then I'm specifying the font face of our text to be equal to bold. So if you run lines 12 to 15 of the code, you can see that we are updating our plot. And as you can see, we have added the text label my bold text in bold. So in this first example, I have explained how to add bold text to a ggplot2 plot. However, it's also possible to add italic text to a ggplot2 plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 17 of the code. And in these lines of code, I'm using basically the same code as in the first example. The only difference is that this time I'm specifying the font face argument to be equal to italic. So if you run lines 17 to 20 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated. And this time our text label is shown in italic style. So as you have seen in the first example, I have added bold text. And in the second example, I have added italic text. However, it's also possible to add bold and italic text to a ggplot2 plot. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in lines 22 to 25. And in this case, I'm specifying the font face argument to be equal to bold.italic. So if we are specifying the font face argument to be equal to bold.italic, our text will be shown in bold and in italic. So if we run lines 22 to 25 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again, and this time the text is shown in bold and italic text. So in the first examples of this tutorial, I have explained how to convert an entire text element to bold or italic. However, it's also possible to convert some parts of our text to bold or to italic. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 27. And in this example, I'm again using the annotate function. However, this time I'm specifying to the label argument that I want to show some parts of the text in bold and some parts of the text in italic. And we can do that by using a tilde within the text label. And then within the text label, we also need to specify whether we want to show our text in bold or if we want to show our text in italic style. And then we also need to specify the pass argument to be equal to true. So if you run lines 27 to 30 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time we have shown some parts of the text in bold and other parts in italic. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to convert a text element to bold or to italic text. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.